पांच दिवसीय साहित्यिक समारोह जयपुर लिटरेचर फेस्टिवल का आगाज हुआ है जयपुर लिटरेचर फेस्टिवल जेएलएफ के सत्रवें संस्करण का आयोजन जयपुर के होटल क्लार्क्स आमेर में आयोजित किया जा रहा है एक से पांच फरवरी तक इस पांच दिवसीय जेएलएफ का आयोजन किया जाएगा जिसमें 550 से ज्यादा लेखक और कलाकार और साथ ही प्रमुख लोग भाग ले रहे हैं राजस्थान की उप मुख्यमंत्री दिया कुमारी ने जेएलएफ का उद्घाटन किया इस साल जेएलएफ में स्टोरीज यूनाइट अस की थीम पर आधारित है ये वहीं इस वर्ष भी फेस्टिवल की डेकोर थीम उत्सव रखी गई है उत्सव राजस्थान के रंगों का जश्न मनाना और उज्जवल रंगों का प्रदर्शन है इस साल सोलह भारतीय और आठ अंतर्राष्ट्रीय भाषाएं प्रस्तुत की जा रही हैं। जेएलएफ में द मॉर्निंग म्यूजिक में पंडित कुमार गंधर्व की सौवी जयंती मनाते हुए कलापिनी कोमल को, कोमकली की प्रस्तुति दी गई जहाँ गुलजार और रक्ष अंदा के साथ पवन वर्मा ने चर्चा की वहीं गुलजार को सुनने के लिए काफी तादाद में लोग उमड़े वहीं किताब के ट्रांसलेशन पर गुलजार ने अपने विचार व्यक्त किए पूर्व आरबीआई गवर्नर रघुराम राजन क्रिकेटर अजय जडेजा आदि ने सेशन खास रहे lot of people to visit jaipur and because it's become like a road show now because they are traveling jaipur literature festival is now traveling all over the world the festivals happen in the us in uk in australia different parts of the world so it's wonderful for the city of jaipur for rajasthan so i'm a privileged privileged to be here of course for tourism for everything for industry for business lot of people come here they come and visit the festival listen to the speakers but they also uh, you know do other things there's uh, business opportunities there's tourism happening there's so much activity around this festival so it's always an honor to be dekhe jaipur literature festival jo hai i feel has become uh, a global brand uh, it's uh, one of those events that is watched globally the kinds of people who come here from different backgrounds authors writers thinkers uh, from across the world gather and have a free and fair discussion on many many topical issues it's enriching people who come here the kind of footfall we have uh, i think is unprecedented and the jlf has made a name for itself not just in this country but also around the world so i'm very happy and proud uh, that jlf has you know achieved so much and coming here has always been uh, an enriching experience people who come and listen go back entertained much wiser and more open to ideas the whole, whole concept of having this is to really be able to say things that that one really feels in an in an open atmosphere to be questioned to be challenged to be discussed one may may not agree but to have different views of point is important in a democracy so jlf i think is adding value to that and i hope the jaipur literature festival goes bigger and better with each passing year i have to say i have i have read it i don't know what's in it and i typically don't respond in real time until i fully understand what what it's all about so please we are not going to answer questions about the budget uh others of a fair game uh, what we trying to do in this book uh breaking the mold that we both uh, uh wrote through the last few months is really offer an alternative path for india you know india is coming to a crossroads that has to choose uh you know both politically but also economically where it wants to go and and what we are saying is that uh we don't need to choose the path that other countries have uh we don't need to choose the china path a manufacturing exports led uh more authoritarian system uh which uh, which generates uh rapid growth we say it's maybe even very difficult to go that way because uh, china hasn't left that path it's still standing on that path we have to contend with the china which is still on that path but also uh those that path has diminishing returns because of increasing trade protectionism across the world 